video, I will show you how to make your DIY flower pot. So today is November 1, that's All Saints Day, and tomorrow is November 2, obviously. It's going to be your All Souls Day, so the people right now are very busy preparing and buying at the flower shops, flower arrangements. Well, in fact, you could actually make your own, like do it your own. I'm going to post a picture here of what we did during my late father's 40th day. And we actually made our own floral decorations. And in fact, we we're able to save a lot. In this video, the things that you'll be needing are the following. and you can slice it in different sizes or form it in different forms depending on your bowl. So actually we bought this bowl at one of our stores here at Bogon and it actually costs around these are like mini jack bowls already so it costs cheaper and we bought the bowls like we bought them only for 200 pesos so actually and these bowls are in good condition and they really look good and very classy because it's color black and they actually come in different forms and we have already made different flower decorations so these are our finished products and this bowl is like a circular bowl and we have also other shapes like this one is like a regular shape bowl and another small oval or circular bowl. It's very important to measure your flower foam first. That's why you really need a pen or a pencil to mark it so that when you cut it, it will be the perfect size and it will fit perfectly to your bowl. So this is actually my pre-cut. My pre no, it's not the pre-cut, but I actually already measured it according to my bowl size and the way how I wanted it to be. So if you could see, I have already bore a hole here because I will try to make a DIY flower pot with a candle in the middle. So I haven't tried this before and let's see how this will work out. So actually used a spoon to scrape the middle portion of the flower foam after I traced it with a candle. So I will put the foam on top of the bowl and I will put the candle here at the middle of the foam. And there. It perfectly fits.
going to put your flowers and stick it on top of your flower form you have to wet it first i'm going to show you how you are going to wet your flower foam and you just drop the flower foam in the water and allow it to absorb the water so eventually here you can see that the water is absorbing no that it is absorbing the water rather and you just let it do its own thing you don't need to push it like this to hasten the process it has to take time so that the water will be evenly distributed all throughout the flower foam so ta-da now we're going to cut your flowers and stick your flowers into your flower foam Thank you.